Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to church. Um, as many of you already know, yesterday, uh, three of us from the church participated in a special called session uh, to meet about uh, the situation that we face in the United Methodist Church with churches wanting to disaffiliate. Um, and yesterday, we gathered and um, it was voted to allow these churches to leave uh, based upon their convictions and concerns about uh, what's happening and not happening in the church. And 264 churches uh, in our conference uh, have been allowed to disaffiliate, leave uh, the denomination. But 578 churches remain. And we continue to, uh, and we are actually part of the 578, where we decided to, to stick around and see what happens in the life of the United Methodist Church. Uh, so I just want to encourage you all to uh, continue to be faithful, continue to stick together through these times. Uh, and if you have any further questions, you can ask me, and I'll try to, to best my ability to answer your questions. Um, so let's have a prayer, actually, uh, for the churches who decide to leave and for the churches who decide to remain, uh, in that we all will have uh, a clear understanding uh, of what God re wills for us. Lord, we come to you now as your children. Uh, these are troubling and hard times for United Methodist, the United Methodist Church. And Lord, we just pray for those churches who have decided to leave. We ask that you will continue to be with them, that they will continue to minister and show the love of Christ to others, as you've called us all to. We also pray for all the church who decided to remain during this season and at this time. We pray, Lord God, that you will strengthen them and encourage them, uh, keep, keep them focused on the goal of making disciples uh, for your glory. And uh, we just ask as well special prayer for Trinity United Methodist Church, as we are many, but we are part of your body. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue to allow us to thrive and continue to allow us to be unified continue to allow us to work together for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Announcements are listed within your bulletin and I'm so glad Kathleen is here with us today because she can tell us about the rummage sale. What, what, give us a report on the rummage sale. It's quickly, quickly approaching, isn't it? Let's get, you a, get a microphone to you. Next Monday we will start our yard sale, Monday through Friday. Sunday afternoon, we will be putting this stuff out. And I mean, I've got it everywhere. So I need all the help and the strong backs that I can get. Amen. Let's get ready. Also, Popping for Jesus this Wednesday, April 26th, I believe at 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. I believe this will be our last Popping for Jesus for the season. Betty, you have a report for us? You want to? Let's get her a mic microphone to you. This is the last one we'll do this year. We'll start again in September. All right. So come out if you can and join us. It's a real good time. So come out for that. Also, our spaghetti fundraiser went well, I tell you. Um, Paula, you just about had the $1,000 spaghetti sauce. Well, we raised near $900 for mission. So thank God for that. I'm still going to call it the thousand dollar spaghetti sauce. So thank you all for that. Thank you for participating in that. Also, you'll see new offering, uh, a, a section here where it says new offering. Uh, and I'm excited to announce these two announcements uh, so that you all know the ministry that God is shaping in our church. First is every Monday from 530 to 6 p.m., 
you are welcome to come here for informal prayer. And on Wednesdays from 2.30 to 3 p.m., uh, we are now hosting or having, uh, 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 Heritage Hall is hosting us actually, uh, hosting us for allowing us to have worship services there. Uh, so if you're interested in any of these two ministries, get with me. Uh, and we'll see God do great things through that. Are there any other announcements in the house this morning? I'm almost embarrassed to actually send out this search and rescue mission to the congregation. But because people wanted to buy tickets today for the pancake breakfast this Saturday, I tore off five to give to one person. And it seems that I have misplaced the other five. They look like this. So if you see them on the floor or on a bench seat or whatnot, <laughs> don't keep them. Otherwise, I'll never keep up with my book work and they will fire me, make me pay back everything that they've paid me all these years which is nothing, so I don't have any problem there. But if you find them, please return them to me. Thank you. Also, I want to remind everybody of our book, book uh, study, Monday nights at 6 o'clock. It's very good, isn't it, Kim? It's awesome. Uh, there's information in the bulletin about that. Are there any other announcements? I'll mention that during prayer time. Yeah. Elvis sitting in the back. But our pancake breakfast is not this Saturday. <clears throat> it's May the 27th. Let me tell you something else that bothers me as I sit here this morning. I don't like to read on Facebook or in the paper that 264 churches disaffiliated. To me, the news is 578 stayed. Amen. Amen. Any others? Noah, you have something you need to say, buddy? Susie. A quick one. Um, on um, May the 7th at 5 o'clock, we plan to have a, a Mother's Day. Uh, it's for our, really for our uh, women's group, but we've decided to turn it into something for Mother's Day. First of all, it's not going to be sad. So if, uh, if you leave with tears in your eyes, it's not going to be because something's sad. It's because you will have lots of lives, I promise. But anyway, uh, Joan Short is going to uh, do the program for us, and she does a fabulous job. So if... Uh, uh, we would like for anyone to come and invite somebody. Uh, we'll feed you even, and we'll, we'll promise to entertain you, okay? So put that on your calendar. We're going to start a little early at 5 instead of 6. So please pass that on. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? 